So my name is Vijay Shri Yadav. First name is V I J A Y S H R E E, and last name is Y A D A V. My initials are M D, M C R. M D stands for Doctor of Medicine, and M C R is Masters in Clinical Research. So I'm a trained as a neurologist, so I'm a clinician, but I'm also working on several um, areas of research which are sort of non-conventional in our field. For example, looking at the effect of environment, how environment affects MS, and within environment, uh, for example, effect of diet, if there's any, people when they are diagnosed, they want to know why did they get the disease. We do not know why people get the disease, uh, and there is no cure as such so far. Yes, we have several disease-modifying therapies for MS at this time, but still the role of environment is, I think, quite prominent, uh, and we need to understand that better. So in particular, looking at effect of diet, especially low-fat diet, if this has any effect on MS, uh, is of importance to me, and that's where I have kind of uh, done my research in the last several years. Another area of research that I have been looking into is if there are any certain supplements, especially antioxidants, which can be helpful uh, in alleviating the symptoms of MS or as a possible treatment for MS. So one such supplement which is available over the counter is called alpha lipoic acid. <coughs> and uh, that's what I'm looking at right now with the effect of alpha lipoic acid, specifically as a treatment for optic neuritis. And optic neuritis is a disease of the eye which can be a symptom of the MS. Um, hence, it can potentially be a treatment for MS. That's, so that is where I'm working on. Have there been any major breakthroughs with, um, with, with that medicine in this past year? Uh, alpha lipoic acid, so we have, done, uh, we have done research in animal models for the last 10 years, and the animal model research has actually a lot of uh, promising data. So that then led for us to do uh, kind of a pharmacokinetic study, meaning looking at the effect of the drug, how it is uh, metabolized in the body, how it is broken down, what the pathways possibly would be. Uh, so we have looked into that already. Small studies have been completed, and now we are looking into effect of this um, supplement lipoic acid in optic neuritis as a treatment, as well as looking at alpha lipoic acid as a possible treatment in secondary progressive MS, because thus far we do not have any treatment for secondary progressive type of MS. So those are two areas, or rather those are two research areas that we are actively recruiting patients for. So lipoic acid is an oral supplement. It's available over the counter. It's uh, quite cheap. Uh, so hence, uh, as we know, the current disease modifying therapies, which are FDA approved, are uh, very expensive, you know, they have a lot of side effects. So if we can have the supplement which has been available, very cheap, safe, uh, and we are testing that in optic neuritis model, uh, or optic neuritis uh, patients rather, as a treatment for optic neuritis, and also looking at treatment in secondary progressive type of MS, which for which there are no treatments uh, at this time. So these two areas would be quite promising in, in my opinion. So it's actually quite exciting that we have oral therapies available for MS. We had this dream for rather decades that we will have a disease modifying therapy which could be oral. However, most of them, they have some concern at this time. The first oral drug which was approved was uh, fingolimod or also known as Gelenia. Uh, so it, it is even the call as immune modulator, but it does affect the immune cells, lower some of the immune cells. Hence, there is some concern that it could increase the risk of infection. And what the long-term effects of these drugs might be, we do not know. However, if you look at the clinical trial data, which is just two years of data, the, uh, two years and a little longer because of the extension of those clinical trial, there is quite promising data on at least the relapse or disease activity. Whether long-term these will be sustained, that is yet to be known. Yes, it is approved, we are using it, but we are very cautious about uh, monitoring the patient. Similar thing is true for the second drug called um, Abagio or teriflunamide, which is also known as, which is also um, known to be immune modulator. But we believe that it's immune suppressant in a low, uh, at a low level. So again, risk of infection can be there. We'll be watchful for that. And the third drug, which got approved just a month ago, uh, called BG12, or uh, the trade name is Tecfidera, that is so-called antioxidant seems to be more promising than the previous one. Again, any new drug, you have to be cautious. So there's a lot of promise, but again, we have to be cautious. So uh, <clears throat> the other area of my research is the low-fat diet uh, in MS, and this comes from Dr. Swank's work. And Dr. Swank uh, was a neurologist who practiced in 
kind of uh, between 1990, uh, 1950s to 1990s, and at that time there were no therapies available for MS. Uh, everything was, nobody knew what MS was, why it happened, so there was pretty much nothing. But what he observed was that MS happens in populations who tend to have a higher intake of uh, saturated fats, especially uh, red meat, animal-based uh, diet. So his theory was that if we can cut back on those uh, food products, uh, food uh, intake, maybe we can make a change in, uh, uh, in their disease activity or the disease itself. So he did small studies himself, which did show that if you follow a low-fat diet with the fish supplementation or uh, kind of fish oil supplementation that can potentially affect the survival as well as disability. Again, the trial were very small, the number of patients in the group were in the trial were very small, hence it's not really accepted as a scientific evidence, hence needs, a study needs to be done to be able to um, expand that further. So we got involved with looking at effect of low fat diet in MS with the, um, uh, with the MRI brain rather. To, because MRI is probably the most important biomarker at this time that, uh, that we have that can show effect of uh, in any intervention that we can do for our patients. So we are looking at this, um, uh, this diet, which is a plant-based uh, low-fat diet, and we did the study for about one year. Um, people had MRIs at the baseline as well as at the end of the study, and uh, right now we are in the process of uh, analyzing the data. So the study has completed, but we do not have results. And that, so then the most exciting time is that we will be analyzing all the data, um, and hopefully we will have some results within a few months.